Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vanessa if you are new here. In this episode of Catholic Snacks, we'll be answering the question, Did Christ Establish One Church? If you're new to the channel or new to the series, Catholic Snacks is a series on this channel where we look at disputes from Protestants about Catholicism and address these disputes in short, bite-sized conversational ways to lead to a more fruitful conversation about apologetics. This video, as with other Catholic Snacks videos on the channel, there will be other helpful videos and material linked in the description down below to help go more in depth on these topics. Most topics addressed in Catholic Snacks are a perfect pairing or appetizer, ooh, you see what I did there, I'm dumb, for other videos that are already posted on the channel. But without further ado, let us get into this Catholic Snack. So first things first, let us answer the question at hand. Did Christ establish one church? Short answer, yes. But how do we know this? Well, scripture lays it out pretty clearly for us. The first verse that we should take note of about the establishment of the church is in the book of Matthew chapter 16, when Christ establishes the church. Matthew 16, 18 says, And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of another world shall not prevail against it. Note that when Christ speaks of the church, he notes that the church is singular, not plural. Christ did not say, build my churches, but instead, build my church. Christ also speaks of the church being one in John 10, 16, which says, I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. How many flocks and how many shepherds? One. We also see reiterated in Ephesians 4 verses 4 through 6 that the church is to remain as one. It says, One body and one spirit, as you were also called to be one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all. Now you may be saying, Vanessa, we get it. The Bible says that there is one church, but that one church could easily mean the whole body of Christ, every Christian, regardless of the denomination, as long as they're Christian. But is this true? Well, scripture makes it very clear that not only is the church one, but it is one in the sense that it's supposed to remain united and not differing doctrines. We read about this in verses such as Acts 4.32, which says, the community of believers was one of heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. Another verse being Philippians 2.2, 2, which says, Complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. And another verse that I will know is 1 Corinthians 1.10, which says, I urge you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you may be united in the same mind and in the same purpose. So from these verses, we understand that the church is one, and is meant to remain as one, and in this remaining as one must be unified in its teachings, and there are to be no divisions. The hundreds of differing doctrines that are within the Protestant churches are contrary to what scripture tells us about the church. That is why it is our jobs as Christians to go back to the root, go back to the source and find out what is the one doctrine, what is the one teaching, and what is the one church that Christ established so that we can be a member of the one true united holy church. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this Catholic snack. If you happen to like this video, please give it a like. And if you didn't like it, give it a dislike. If you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, be sure to let me know. I love to hear from all of you guys. If you guys want to see more from the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And like I mentioned earlier, please check the description bar for more helpful content. I also have the store link down below. We're adding new merchandise every day. That's a shameless plug on my end. But thank you guys so much for the support on the store. It truly means the world to me. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in my next one. Bye. Bye.